Hi friends, Cass my Crossy's channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm talking about the Josh Fraser and our assistant coaches. Now if you are a returning Cavs Mag Cross, like comment. If you new to channel and watching this for the first time, like, comment and subscribe. Now my reaction to Josh Fraser, um, head of Academy and also um, a development coach. I think he, yeah, he, head of development. 218 games for Collingwood and the Gold Coast Suns. Played 200 at Collingwood and um, went across to the Gold Coast Suns and worked it under their league as well as in the coaches thing. Um, VFL coach Carlton and I think for, for the Northern Blues at the time as well. So Josh has been around the system and to welcome him back I think that's a great move. I really think that's a, that's a positive in the right direction. I think we got enough coaches um, so I think in that, you know, we're going to have success. We really are. Um, so, we'll go through the, the coaches. So, Craig McCray is a, an AFL senior coach. Justin Lepich, head of strategy and defensive coach. Brendan Bolton is the director of coaching and stoppage coach. So, that helps with our stoppages and all the rest. Hayden Skibworth is a forwards coach. Scott Sowards a midfield coach. Josh Fraser, as we know, um, an academy coach and head of development. Neville Jetta is a development coach, but will be playing for the VFL as well to help out the, the kids as much as possible. Um, Ash Close is a development coach, and I think he has coached us before. And Craig Black is a VFL and NGA head coach. So, by going these announcements, I think that's a step in the right direction. I don't think that we've lost that much. I think we've still got a bit to go in the way that how our development continues. And if we can continue on this right direction, why not? Um, there's a lot of things that happen, you know, Collingwood that I feel is a great move as well. Um, whilst they're trading, as we know today, on top of that, um, now, there is one in Hill that I think we offer four years, but I think as a better deal for him, but maybe, I don't think he'll come to us. I think it's more likely either it'll be Essendon or at the Giants. Um, that's gonna be interesting in itself. Um, so he's a small forward um, as much as anything. I think we've had a good trade period. I think that we've won the trade period when it comes to getting Lipinski and getting Kruger I think if you can get a key four that you've been struggling to get, I think for the past couple of years, I think that's a really good sign that we're in a step in the right direction. Um, so we'll see how this in the the, the in hill thing goes. Personally, I wouldn't mind having him, but then Max Lynch is a lot. You know, I think he'll be gone. But if he doesn't go, um, then, you know, it should be interesting to see what happens as well. But I am so pumped for next season. I, I cannot tell you that I'm looking forward to it um, as well. So, well, let me know what you think, Pius fans. Um, 
like comment and subscribe until then bye for now